folks, welcome back to another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. We've got another, one of the sort of gaming greats um, figures, Stormtrooper Commander, based on the Force Unleashed. I do like that they're putting the logos like that up there, uh, much like they did with uh, Lando here, Battlefront 2, which I just reviewed. Um, my local JB Hi-Fi have recently just dropped all their figures on clearance for 15 bucks each. Um, and I hadn't picked this guy up yet. Uh, this one has just sort of been holding off, just waiting for waiting for a discount at some point. And if I missed out, I wasn't going to be too fussed about it. Um, but yeah, really glad I did pick this one up for fifteen bucks. You know, that's that's like two thousand and ten prices right there. Let's see, gaming grades got the heavy assault stormtrooper, which I do have. I haven't reviewed it. Um, and I don't even think I have it on hand at the moment. I recently did move again, so that one may have got packed away. But it also may be with me. So yeah, I did miss out on the version of this figure from 2007 or 8. So it's nice to have, nice to have this guy. Um, did get the Black Series one a few years ago. But uh, here he is. I'm really, really stoked to have this guy in the collection now. Never had this, like I said, never had the old Legacy one. I think it was Legacy. Um, so yeah, really, really chuffed to have this guy in the collection now. He does come with another, another blast rifle, which I've already packed away. <laughs> So unfortunately I can't share that, but um, you know, just gonna stick with the E11. It was sort of like a Imperial Pulse rifle that he came with as well, a bit like um, a sort of a more stockier version of IG, IG-88's blaster, Pulse, Pulse rifle. But yeah, digging this one. Sort of this, this Stormtrooper sculpt is just absolute perfection. It's it's really really nice. I'm glad Hasbro don't have to change this one again. But yeah, love all the markings. Again, sort of a nice nod to the 501st with the blue marking. So I think that was what he was initially meant to be before just deciding that he was going to be a commander. But you know, no longer canon. But still awesome. <laughs> I can't wait to have a little little display of this guy with some stormtroopers behind him. He's just a really, really good stormtrooper figure. All the articulations there, all the good stuff that you want, the ball hinged hips, the ball hinge in the wrists. Doesn't have a holster for his blaster. Um, but uh, some of them didn't. I think it was the Rogue One Trooper, which I believe this is based on. Um, as there was the sort of Empire Strikes Back Storm Trooper that had the holster, which came with the um, carbon freezing chamber. And I think has also been recently re-released in... Um, <clears throat> In the vintage collection, the Walmart exclusive with the Bespin guards and that. So, we do have some stormtroopers at the moment, but this one is brilliant. And paint is very nicely applied, looks great all the way around. Like I said, markings on the back, all about the sides of the legs, the blue strapping over the boots. But yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts and any feedback on this video, please sound out in the comments below. You managed to pick this one up. Please let me know, let me know what you think. This is a good one. Awesome, awesome stuff. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on another video really.